So today guys, I bring you quite possibly one of the best Lords of the Fallen Viga farms in this game. You can take advantage of this almost straight away too. I mean, it doesn't really get easier. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this farm consists of you trapping the Red Reaper, the Scarlet Shadow. Then being free to farm enemies with that three times multiplier at a minimum. Similar methods in regards to trapping the Reaper claim you can earn upwards of 750,000 Vyga per hour. I ain't sure about those deluded numbers, but what I would say is it's maybe closer to that 400,000 mark. Maybe a little higher if you can, well, if you have the benefits of further Vyga gain multipliers, which I'll explain to you guys later on in the video. But firstly, let me show you how this is done. So within the bar room area, the vestige of blind Agatha, oh yes, that also popular spot. This is where we trap him. Now keep in mind, it is right now the 26th of October. It's working, I play on console. So yes, do what you gotta do. So yes, the vestige of blind Agatha, this is real early game. I mean, anyone can do this at any level. It is kind of difficult to set up, but once you get the hang of it, it's probably one of the best in the game. So from this vestige right here guys, you need to go into that Umbral Realm. Do this by running off the map and getting a big spiky head dude to follow you. This should take out the necessary enemies here, which will only get in your way. If it doesn't, take them out yourself. Then guys, climb this ladder and again take out any enemies that may remain up here. Then guys, it's just a matter of dropping down onto this swinging thing below. Not the one directly below you, but the one closer to the cliff side. It's a little fiddly, uh, whatever you do, don't run, don't jump, just walk off slowly. From here, get as close to the center of this as you possibly can, as you see me doing. Then guys, and I've tried and tested this, you want to face that camera down, so you are locking downwards. This needs to be happening when that red reaper spawns in. When that happens, you are free to move the camera as you want. So as you can see here guys, once he does spawn in, you will notice he gets trapped in a platform above. Now for me, I can get this to work about 7 or 8 times out of 10. Sometimes it definitely doesn't, but don't give up, it mostly does. I'm on console again by the way, I'm on Xbox and the date is the 26th of October. So this is still working as of right now. But yes, once he's trapped guys, you are now free to jump down. And here you need to be very, very careful as you can easily fall to your death. So as I do on the screen, move across to this other dangly thing. From here you need to run jump to this platform. If you miss it, there's a good chance you will die. So you want to also make sure you're at full health. This means you need to regen your health before that Red Reaper spawns in. So yes, jump to this part as you see me do right now on screen. You can then go about your way farming all the enemies below and everywhere else around this area. Just make sure you don't go back up top. And wherever you go guys, you will have a minimum of a 3 times multiplayer on those Viga gains. Now to make this more efficient on yourselves, there are a few extra things you may want to look into. Firstly, as you probably know, when the Red Reaper appears and the eyeball is red, it disables your ability to use those health potions. But there are a couple of things you can do here to help. Firstly, if you have any form of Briar Stones, slot them into your quick access items, these really help. But there are also a few rings you can get which will definitely help for sure. Firstly, the Queen Verena 2's ring, this will slowly regen your health over time. It's decent, it definitely helps, but it's not the best. And then guys, there is the Ring of Nourishment. This will regen your health after getting a kill. Currently, as of today's date of the 26th of October, on console anyway, it's only 5% health regen on a kill. On PC, it's currently 15. When that patch does arrive on console, it will be 15% health regen per kill. So keep that in mind. Now, both the rings, I'll show you at the end of the video how these are obtained. Now, you can also increase your Viga gains even further. So firstly guys, you can get the Moth Ring. This will give you a further 10% on those Viga gains. Again, I'll show you at the end of the video where this is obtained from. But guys, if you're at a stage of the game of being able to slot runes into your weapons, the Nilak rune is great for this. If a weapon which can hold this rune, not all can by the way, but if a weapon which can hold this rune is maxed out and you have collected all three rune tablets and handed them into Jolinda, 
you will be able to slot runes into your weapons. Three at a max, again, if that weapon is maxed out. Now, this Nilak rune does decrease physical damage, but if you put the weapon with this runes on it in your offhand, and then just two hand your main weapon, you shouldn't really feel much of a difference in regards to your damage output. Now the Nilak runes are super super rare, they're a rare drop from the Mimic Moths. Now these are a one time spawn as far as I'm aware. This means if you kill one of them by soul flaying them, uh, they won't reappear. So here, I suggest you ignoring them until you have grabbed your first rune tablet and handed it in. Otherwise you're wasting your chances of getting these runes, as runes won't drop until that point. And you can always come back to these Mimic Moths. Also guys, to up your chances, use those Lucky Paws and Charmed Paws because again, these Neela Coons are super, super rare. But yes guys, this Viger farm is absolutely amazing. Plus because the area is an easy zone, you shouldn't be at too much of a risk. Now what I will say is you will need a decent weapon and to be decent with it, being able to use it properly. Otherwise, it's a waste of your time because you'll just end up getting slaughtered. You still have to kill enemies to earn that Viger, but the games are unreal. On screen now guys are the location of said items that will make this more efficient on yourself in regards to those rings. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.